Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and this lab is just recently updated so it is updated solution for this lab and in this video I am going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab so first of all just really log in with your credentials and once done with that now in the description box of this video I will share one github link just really click on that link and then you are able to access this file now the first thing that we have to do we have to create a fire store if we try to create a fire store using a command line then we won't get a full score on the task number one and because of that we have to complete the task number one using a console so basically what you do come back over here and now here just search for the fire store click over here like this way wait for a second now click on this create database over here like this way and make sure that it must be native mode then click on this continue over here now for the location type it must be region and from here just me choose the region okay and you can do one more thing you can just me cross verify this region with your lab instruction region as you can see it's done now what you do scroll down and from here just me choose the test rules like this way once you're done with all this configuration then just me click on this create database over here now it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile just me come back to the github repo scroll down and from here you can see this collection ID so just me copy this come back over here wait for a second now so it's done now just me click on this start collection over here now for the collection ID just me paste the ID which you just copy now for the document ID what you do just me click over here and once you click over there you will get a random document ID so just simply use that now for the field name Come back over here and from here you can see field name. So just me copy this, come back over here and paste. Now for the field value, copy this and just me paste over here like this way. Then again click on this add field over here, scroll down, copy this name, come back over here and paste. Now for the value, copy this, come back over here and paste like this way. Once your collection must look like this, then only click on this save button over here. Wait for a second now. And it's done. Now just me activate your cloud shell. It will take a couple of seconds, so just me wait for that. Click on this, got it. Now come back over here, scroll down, and from here you can see this region. So just me copy this, come back over here, paste. Now for the region, come back to the lab instructions, and from here you can see copy this and paste over here, like this way. And make sure that there is no extra space after equal to. Now again come back to the GitHub repo, scroll down. Copy this command, come back over here, paste, hit enter. Wait for a second and then just may click on this authorize button over here. Now you have to just may wait for this command get executed and once it's done, you are done with the 95% of the lab. And make sure that your laptop will not go for a slip. Otherwise your cloud shell will be disconnected and because of that you might face an error. So just may take care of that thing. Now just may wait for a couple of minutes and after that we will check the score.
and it's finally done now if we just let me come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for each and every task you will get a score without any issue but if you just simply check the score for the task number three you will not get a full score so no need to worry about that let me just simply show you what we have to do So as you can see, we got a score for the task number 1, 2 and 4. But for the task number 3, we are not getting a full score. And if you are also facing the same issue, what you do? Come back over here, scroll down and from here you can see this field name. So just may copy this name. Again come back over here, minimize this and here you can see last name. So just may delete this thing over here, click on this delete and now again we have to just may create the same field. So just may paste the name again over here like a last name and for the field value just may copy this name and paste over here like this and then click on this save field over here. Wait for a second and it's done. Now if we just may come back to the lab instructions and click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updated immediately, no need to worry. Wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score on this lab for sure. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys.